Um, I'm Michelle Chirkop. I work for Callahan and Peters Incorporated. We're in Glenview, Illinois, and we basically do um, remodeling. Um, we focus on the North Shore. I've been there for two years, and um, I have my background in interior design and a master's in historic preservation. Mm -hmm. Good, perfect, perfect. So Cal, you, what is the company you work for? Callahan and Peters. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so we're a family-run business. Uh, David, Callahan, um, and Renata are married. And Renata's father started this business uh, over 50 years ago. And it was a painting business. And then David married into it, and they started um, a remodeling company. So we've been doing it for over 30 years. How long have you been a designer? Uh, I graduated design school in 2005. Um, while I was in school, I was working for an interior designer. And then after that, you know, so 12 years. Oops. Yeah, how do you like it? Um, I love it. What do you love about it? I love working with clients. Um, I love to see how they go through the selection process, and I love to coordinate that. That's what I do at Callahan Peters. I do the design and the project coordination. Um, so walking them through the process and allowing them to make the choices with my advice um, is what I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing that for them for two years? Yes. And how, how did you find out about Gabaret? Well, um, so in 2015 we had a condo remodeling job uh, on the 23rd floor of, it was a building on Lakeshore Drive. And I think it was built in 2003. And um, they didn't allow us decor into the building. So we were adding a bathroom into um, a unit had already had three bathrooms. They needed a fourth. Um, so we, they actually, all the other uh, toilets in um, that unit were all Gebret. So we kind of just, just, you know, we just went with what they had already. Um, so they had three in wall tanks already. And we just installed a fourth. That was your first exposure to right. Gabra? Right. So, wh what did you like about it? Um, well, it fit really well. You know, we we uh, we knew that it would work because it was already existing. Um, but it just the way it looks in the end. You know, super mm -hmm. the toilet super streamlined. And everything is really clean looking. And what do you like about it as a designer? Uh, easy to use. Um, I didn't install it personally, but I, you know, I saw the pictures and it looked fairly, you know, not too complicated. Um, and I just like the, it's, you can put a toilet almost anywhere. So that's what I, that's what I so, found. So uh, when you said you did install it personally, the contractor did, right? Um, our, yeah, we, we sub out plumbing. So we, our plumbing contractor do, installed Do they have problems with that type of uh, fixture? Like being wall? No. I know, not that I've heard. Good. Yeah. So after that, did you use the concept again in any of your designs? Um, not yet. Are you I have planning to? to? Uh, if we if we need to, yes. Um, we we spec'd it for another city job, um, but moving they wanted a wall hung toilet, uh, but moving the existing stack was too it was cost too much. Mm -hmm. So they wanted that sleek European look. Mm -hmm. They're from England, so that's what they're used to. Um, but we ended up not moving it and not using it because they didn't want to. Do you find American money. clients more resistant to the concept or more open or Europeans? How does that work? I think Europeans are used to seeing that kind of use of, you know, the in wall tanks and not seeing the actual tanks on the back of the toilet. So I think that they're more used to accepting that. And, I don't know that American clients have been exposed to it as much, especially the traditional ones. Um, you know, around here, a lot of the style is traditional, so I'm not sure that they understand that you can, you know, do a sleek modern look with an in-wall tank. So the company you work for, how would you describe them? Are they, uh, they're not a, they a showroom? Are they a... Um, we do have a design studio. Uh, we also have a, a shop where Are we... Are they a builder? We are, we're remodelers. I see. Um, we're a design build firm, so... Oh. We, um, we have a showroom, we have a workroom. We started out as cabinet makers too, so we, have, we can modify cabinets. Um, we deal in cabinetry. 
um, and countertops, and we specialize in kitchen and bathrooms. And is that your specialty as an interior designer, or you yes. do all the rooms? Uh, well, I we we do all the rooms, but we specialize in kitchens and bathrooms. Okay. So as a design build firm remodeler, mm -hmm. right? How how often do you come across a situation where this concept may or may not apply? Um. I know it's a tough <laughs> question. Well, typically, honestly, we are remodeling. We remodel a lot of bathrooms on the North Shore and we run into just a standard toilet. Mm -hmm. And that is what they're used to and that's what's already there. So we typically just use a standard toilet mm -hmm. again. So does the client demand have to demand it before you use it or will, are there situations? Well, where... like the condo, there was yes. she didn't demand it. Um, we just had to. Yeah. So it forced us to use it. Um, and if the client demanded we use it, yes, we would have to be told that you want they want to change it to an in-law tank. Right. But are there situations where it might come where you recommend it? Or? Possibly. Yeah. Uh, if we're moving the stack, moving the toilet anyway, and we, and we want to save some room. So the construction may dictate when or right. when you do that. Right. So uh, you're, you work for a design build the model. Mm -hmm. Do you network with other designers at all? I do. I'm part of uh, NARI and MKBA. ASID and Powerhouse Smart. Mm -hmm. so. Do you go to the kitchen and bath show? I haven't been. <laughs> but Mary has like a lot of local shows. Do you go to those? Uh, they have a lot of meetings. Um, there's, I feel like there's a meeting every month. Um, and KBA also has a meeting every month. And um, yeah, I do go to those. So you're members of all those. Right. Do you do CEU credits then with them? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you get your CEU credits? Where, where do you where do you get the uh, knowledge? Um, Online at, in, at the showrooms or they do webinars, um, but I also go to um, like Design Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, I just got I think I attended six seminars, so um, oh, yeah. Is that an <laughs> it was all a day long event? Tuesday, yes. Um, but that's how I get them. Tell me about Design Chicago. Um, it's an event at the Mart. Mm -hmm. um, it's they are all the showrooms get involved. Um, they all have their their speakers and presenters, and there's probably like 30 CEUs that I could have signed up for, um, but everyone, you know, it's just a meeting of all the people in the industry in the area, and people come from pretty far to go to it. Uh, it's kind of like Neocon, but for residential design. So tell me what you like about the Gabarit uh, concept, the wall hung concept. Uh, I like that it's um, clean. It's a space saver. Uh, it just it looks really, it, you know, it's just a clean look. Uh, you've been doing this for 12 years. Well, interior design. Yes. Um, yes. Kind of. I did commercial yes. furniture design before this job. And we were talking about your CEUs. Right. Yeah. Right. You did commercial. I did. How'd you like that? I liked it. Um, it was different. It was just, um, I was a, a rep for a bunch of different manufacturers, so I was... Does interior design help your representation of these men? Yes, because I was, I was designing all the office spaces using our products, so I was, you know... Which manufacturers did you run? Uh, Krug, Group Lacoste, um, no, I can't remember, uh, Thone, Falcon. Do you work with architects? Uh, we do. A series of them, or anybody that. Uh... Um, we have our favorite that we work with in Glenview. Um, he's been friends with David Callahan for I don't know 40 years, and uh, he still hand draws everything. Doesn't use AutoCAD. What's his name? Jeff Haney. Mm -hmm. Is that Haney Architecture, or um, you know his firm? I think it might be Haney Architecture. I just know him as Jeff. Um, but yeah, they and we also use other whoever if the the client already has um, an architect. Sure. Um, then we obviously use them. Do you use social media? Yep. Tell me about them. Uh, I use Facebook and Instagram. Um, and we have, uh, we don't have an Instagram page for Callahan and Peters, but we have a Facebook page and we have House, and a lot of people find us on House. So it's really been a good source for us. Tell me about that, about House, and um, how Callahan uses it. Well, we upload all of our projects. So I take all the photos, um, at final photos afterwards and I upload them to uh, the projects on house and then people can search through them and we you have to pay um, a fee 
in order to pop up as like a local, you know, company. So we'll pop up and, you know, if people are scrolling through photos, uh, we'll just pop up and be part of their search. Tell me about how you get business from a house that's always in, of interest to us. Um, I, we, they email us, so if someone will fill out a form if they see something they like on our website or um, house has like keywords that they put us under. Uh, for some reason we're getting a lot of garages and we don't really know why, um, but we get an email like once a week that they want to build a new garage. Uh, we would love to have, you know, kitchens. They want to do kitchens or bathrooms, but for some reason right now we're getting garages. So I, I think that they have some kind of um, algorithm that they input in the keywords that we want searched and that it, we pop up. the garage as well as the kitchen? Well, we usually, no. I mean, we, we will if, it's, if they want to spend the kind of money on a garage, but we find that they aren't really realistic with their budget. So. But you have had some kitchens come through? Um, yeah, we have. Yeah. Where do you find your business? How, does you, how, do, you, how do you get your business? Uh, mostly referrals. Mm -hmm. Past clients will refer us to their friends or family, or we have a lot of past clients that you know call us back for more. Did the work. condo person was that a past job for you guys? Or um, that was new. We got that. I'm trying to think how we got that. Um, I think we were she we, she was referred to us from a client. Um, no, I can't. Sorry. That's okay. If it's a referral business, it was a it's referral. probably a referral. Yeah. Right. All right. So there were no problems when, when that installation took place or anything went smoothly? Or? It went smoothly. I mean, we built out a bathroom in an existing um, office. So we were able to, you know, put the studs where we needed them and fit the Gebret, you know, the two by six version in, in there. Um, Do you remember which fixture you used for that? Or? Uh, the toilet? Yeah. It was a Villaroy and Bach. Toilet? Because Gabra makes the carrier, right? Right, right. No problem. What could Gabra do to help you, you know, better, make you a better designer, make you, uh, make your life easier? Um, or any manufacturer, I should say any manufacturer. I, I mean, I think that when we were first specking this, um, I called Gabra and I spoke to someone and they walked me through it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that customer service was great. Uh, I think any customer service that will help you sell their product is is best. You know, I I personally didn't know much about in wall tanks. Uh, I was my first year doing remodeling, so I really and even now we haven't really specced many of them. So my team didn't know much about them. So uh, me being able to do research and calling you guys and asking you questions about it was really helpful. Do you remember who you talked to? I don't. Will you look it up? No, I can look it up. <laughs> <laughs> so the customer service angle is good, right? Yes. How many people do you work with? Uh, in our company? Well, in the design community that uh, doesn't know about Gabret per se, but should know after this experience with the condo. So um, the design team? Yeah, so it's really, I'm the design designer, project coordinator, and then my production manager, um, Dave, he, he knew a little bit because um, he had been to some seminars, um, but it was a little while ago, so he was not all that familiar with what we needed. Do you guys have a showroom? We do. And do you give CEUs in your showroom? No, we don't. Do you attend CEUs in other showrooms? I do. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about why that's beneficial to you? Um, well, it's, it's good to see the product. So um, for uh, Design Chicago, I was at the artistic tile showroom and you know they were talking about different tile trends and, and so it was good to be able to you know look around and see exactly what they were referring to. So what's hot in design now? Oh, gray. Gray, <laughs> <laughs> gray and white. <laughs> Everyone wants a white kitchen. Yeah. That's interesting. We talked to someone earlier that said it was white before, then it became this, and now it's white again. Do you see that? Uh, in yeah. Just 12 years at Click Home? Um, yes. Yeah. So besides white and gray, what, anything else uh, that sparked you in your, in your search for new ideas? Where do you get your inspiration? Uh, I look at house a lot. Um, Strictly house, or do you get No, magazines? I look at magazines, what Architectural kind? Digest. Um, NKBA comes out with a good magazine. 
that I look to, um, strictly for kitchens and bathrooms. And a lot, I mean, my quick searches, if I'm trying to find something to show a client, because um, a lot of people have a hard time visualizing something, I will look at house and I will just copy and paste that photo and send it and say this is what I'm thinking, just because they can easily see it. And so it becomes a collaboration tool? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it your company on house or are you on house? Both. Both. Uh, I use the company's profile. Of course. Um, I set up idea books for each client yes. um, so they can just copy and save ideas in that idea book and then I can do the same so it's we can both see it and edit it and write notes on it and see so it's collaboration. Do you follow any manufacturers? Uh, yes. Um, I should follow you guys. <laughs> um, I follow the, the cabinet dealers that we use. So I'm, uh, we're dealers of Ultracraft, Woodland, and Birch. So I follow all of them. And then I, we follow some designers that we, we use. Um, some designers reach out to us um, if they need to have a client who doesn't have a remodeler yet. Um, so we follow them and uh, should follow more people. So what's the best project you ever worked on? Um, I just finished remodeling my grandfather's house that we purchased um, after he died. So uh, it's in Florida, in Naples. Um, it took us about a year and a half. It took me planning state like two and a half years to plan it and get everything ready and um, we just finished it. I think the punch list actually isn't quite done. So, <laughs> is it the whole house? We remodeled the whole house and added a second floor. So it was a big, it was a big project, but what it was a labor hurricane? of love. Oh my! I almost <laughs> the hurricane almost put me over the top. <laughs> but we're uh, the house survived. So it was in Naples where it got hit pretty hard. So uh, what did you use? You didn't use a gap right in that house, did you? We didn't. No, <laughs> sorry. How big was the house? Um, like 3,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. That's a personal project, right? It was a personal project, yeah. So what's the worst project? What's the project from hell? <laughs> I don't know that I've had a one from hell. That's good. You know, we, as a company, we always want to give 110%. So we, even if we think it's going to be a bad project, we always try and make it good. We always want the client to be a raving fan of us and tell all of their friends and family about us. So we do whatever we can to get there. So So are yeah. ratings important to you? Absolutely. And where are the ratings on Facebook? Um, no. So we have a third party um, rating survey system called Guild, Qual Guild Quality. And um, if we think a client oh, is satisfied with us, uh, we send them the link to do the survey. Mm -hmm. And um, do you publish we, those on we your do. website then? We publish them on our website and they're published. Anyone can search for Guild Quality and they're published right there. So we have a five star rating right now with Guild Quality. Good. So I think you three know, years. Get my yep. This is great. You're doing wonderful. I don't know if you've read Raving Fans, um, but the premise of it is to always do whatever you can to create a raving fan. So we as a company, we go over 100% in our effort to do that. Um, every week we have a team meeting um, where we go through every project that we have that we're working on and we rate how happy the client is and um, everyone has to go around and say what they've inter how they've interacted with the client the past week and how things are going, if they think they're happy. Everyone kind of in a remodeling process, everyone starts out really high really excited. The longer we're there, <laughs> the more angry they get. But we always um, try to keep them happy and we'll give them a gift card mid, you know, to a restaurant, middle of the project, just to kind of boost their spirits a bit. And, um, but at the end, we are, you know, with the guild quality and with the surveys that we do and Yelp and House and all the reviews that we get, we can tell that people really appreciate the amount of work we go into like trying to make them happy and feel comfortable and take care of their house so that's that's our number one goal as a company because when you get into that there's always production that you don't anticipate well yeah absolutely i mean we put on we built out a bathroom a couple months ago 
and we're adding on to a dormer and we had to you know put a new roof on it but it would rained for a week so you know we were delayed from this very start and they they said they understood but we could tell they were a little bit annoyed but we really can't do anything about the weather so we gave them a gift card to make them